Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, Feather Puddle. <laughs> Yes? Oh, Tom Page. Hello, Tom. How's my faithful editor? Clutch, would you come over to the office right away? It's urgent. Professor Chickadee, president of the Fine Feathered Friends Club, has disappeared. Oh, yes. Professor Chickadee is famous. Where was he last seen, Tom? He left last month for the remote area of Big Wet Lake to observe the hatching habits of the whooping crane. The Big Wet? Why, Tom, I know that area very well. I wrote about it in my first adventure logbook. Precisely. That's why I called you, Clutch. You're publishing his latest bird-watching book, aren't you, Tom? That's right. He's up there collecting material for the last chapter. The book goes to press next week, and I haven't heard a word from him. Uh, excuse me. Good morning, Robin. Glad you could make it. This is Robin Wren, Professor Chickadee's nephew. How do you do, Mr. Cargo? I've heard of you. This is Spinner. Hello, Mr. Wren. And Paddlefoot. I'm sorry to hear about your uncle, Robin. But we're going to do all we can to find him. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Cargo. Mr. Page asked me to bring my uncle's picture. Here it is. He's quite small, only five feet two. As you can see, very distinguished looking. When he talks, it's like birds singing. He's so devoted to them. Thanks, Robin. This will be a great help. Yeah, I'm sure if anybody can find him, Mr. Cargo, you can. We'll do our best. And now, Tom, we'd better get going. The sooner we start the search, the better. Well, fellows, goodbye and good luck. Off on another adventure, go Clutch and Company. Nice weather for flying, huh, yes, Benny? Yeah, and nice weather for bird watching, too. This big, wet lake country is pretty rugged. I just hope we're not too late to find Professor Chickadee. He's a very brilliant man. I read one of his articles entitled, Why is a Pelican? Ooh. Hey, Clutch, what's that funny-looking V up ahead? That's a formation of geese. They always fly in a V formation like that. Hey, that's the way a squadron of airplanes fly. Just one of the many things we've learned from nature. At this time of year, the geese always head north to Big Wet. We're going to fly with them. Huh? How? Watch. and company continue north, led by a flock of geese. Spinner, you can see Big Wet over there now. Biggest game preserve in the world. Waterfowl flock here from all over the world for protection against hunters. Oh, so that's why the professor came way up here. It's a bird watcher's paradise. Not only that, it's the last nesting grounds of the near extinct whooping crane. The geese are going in for a landing. We'll follow them in and take a look around. Hey, Foxy, I hear a flock of gooses. They're geese, you don't, and keep down there headed right this way. Do you see what I see? Yeah, biggest goose I ever saw. Stand back. I'm going to blast. Will that gun blast wreck Clutch and Company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Feather Puddle. You remember last time Clutch and Company were called by Tom Page, Clutch's editor. His call was urgent. Professor Chickadee, president of the Fine Feathered Friends Club, had disappeared in the remote section known as Big Wet Lake. As Clutch prepared to land, biggest goose I ever saw. Stand back. I'm gonna blast. Someone thinks we're geese. Can't they see we're not a goose? Where are we going, Clutch? To find out who's shooting at us and why. I'll get
get him this time. He's coming right this way. Hold it, Gizzard. That's no ghost. That there is a flying machine. What's the big idea? We're no goose. We just landed when they did. Sorry, my partner here's awfully nearsighted. Yeah, I thought you was unfriendly gooses. Geese. Yeah, geeses. <laughs> okay, okay, but you're not supposed to be shooting at geese. Don't you know this is a game preserve? Game preserve? Why, no, I didn't know that. Did you, Gizzard? Nope. Nobody never told me. Well, I'm telling you. And if you know what's good for you, you'll clear out of here. Oh, we will. We were tired of hunting geese anyway. <laughs> he means gooses. By the way, have you seen a little man with a pointed nose who was probably carrying a camera and a notebook? You mean a little thin man with skinny legs, big eyes, a round head, with fuzzy hair? Yeah, by golly, that's him. We ain't seen him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a funny one, Gizzard. <laughs> you may think that's funny, but it's not. Come on, Spinner. Crank up the engine. Let's go. Right, Clutch. How do you like that? Those snoopers would have to show up just when our feather harvest is getting good. Yeah, Foxy. We really got it soft. We can't let them fuddle up our feather business. Right. We gotta think of a sneaky way to stop them. What if they find that little bird man out there? We gotta get there first and see that doesn't happen. Come on. Keep a sharp lookout, Spinner. Professor Chickadee is out here somewhere. Those two fellas must have seen him. They knew a lot more than they were willing to admit, Spinner. He won't be hard to recognize if we do spot him. Catch! Look over there. Better, I think it's somebody's hat. It could be the professor's. Jump out and take a look. Hey, it's Professor Chickadee's hat, all right. His initials are on the hat band. Hmm. Losing his hat could mean he's in some kind of trouble. Look, the professor is in trouble. His tracks stop right here. Hey, Clutch, look at this! Something's been dragged to the water edge. Probably a net. You don't suppose someone trapped him, do you, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. But I have a feeling he's in great danger. The word help frantically written in the sand. What could have happened to Professor Chickadee? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Feather Puddle. You remember last time Clutch and Company landed their plane after almost being blasted by a shotgun. They met two characters named Foxy and Gizzard who must have seen the professor because they described him to a T. Clutch and Company find the professor's hat. Paddlefoot finds something else. You don't suppose somebody trapped him, do you, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner, but I have a feeling he's in great danger. Oh, dear. Will this egg never hatch? And I promised the mother whooping crane I'd look after it until she returned. I must have sat here for days. Oh, where, oh, where could she be? We gotta take that bird brain professor by surprise. Yeah, we gotta get the professor before that cargo guy finds him. Else the birdy brain will spill the beans about our feather business. You can still bet he's sitting on that egg. Yeah. <laughs> we caught the mother bird days ago. He don't know she won't be back. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Get out the giant gooseneck, Gizzard. Got it, Foxy. The professor is faster than a mud hen and twice as slippery. Shh. Oh, dear, those two rogues are back, bent on mischief, I see. I must save my egg. Quick, there he goes. After him, Foxy. Don't let him get away. There in the wing.
speed. He's headed for the tall coolies. Hey, Fred, what's that up ahead? It's those two goose hunters. They're chasing something. Why, it, it's Professor Chickadee. And look, he swooped him up in a goose net. If any harm comes to this egg, you'll have to answer to Mother Whooping Crane. Calm down, Bertie, or we'll make you both into an omelet. Oh, oh, hey, here comes that Snoopy cargo. Quick, let's get out of here. We'll beat it for the bulrushes. Guy Cargo ain't one to give up. He'll be back. And when he does, we'll be ready for him. Tie the birdie to a stick. We'll use him as a decoy. And when you get through, we help me load our big Bertha. No sign of the professor out this way, Spinner. We lost them back there in the bulrushes. We'd better circle back. Here they come. Quick, up with our decoy, Gizzy. Okay, steady your on target, Giz. Oh, what? I see something sticking out of the bulrushes. It's the professor. We'll fly in close and have a good look. Ready? Aim. Fire! Is there any way for Clutch to avoid being hit? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Feather Puddle. You remember last time, Clutch and Company were bound and determined to find Professor Chickadee. The professor had been sitting on a whooping crane egg, hoping it would hatch. However, Foxy and Gizzard found him first as Clutch flew over the spot where they had seen an object. Ready, fire! Tail and wings are on fire. Hang on, Spinner. This is going to be a rough landing. <laughs> I guess we showed them how we can shoot Snoop and Birdman. Just like shooting a flock of gooses. <laughs> you mean geeses, Gizzy. Gooses? Geeses? What's the difference? We can now go back to finishing our fortune in feathers. Please, oh, please untie me. My egg is getting cold. It's all right, Giz. Let's untie old Birdie Brain and let him set on that egg again. Yeah, and when that big old whooping crane egg hatches, it'll be just one more big batch of feathers right for plucking. Right. Start hatching, Birdie. Here you are, Professor, old boy. Your egg is still lukewarm. Spinner, Paddlefoot, you okay up there? We're okay, Clutch, but our plane is all shot to pieces. Lucky for us, that big splash we made when we landed put the fire out. About all that's left is our pontoons and engine. It was those two feather snatchers. They deliberately shot us down with some sort of big cannon. Yes, and they used Professor Chickadee as a decoy. Let's go back there and settle scores with those two. Listen, it's Cargo. He's coming back. We must only wing him. We only shut his tail off. I'll bet he's madder than a wet mud hen. Thank goodness, Mother Whooping Crane's egg and I will be saved after all. Not if we can help it. Log cannon stuffed with gunpowder and rocks. We could have been killed. Oh, oh, look, Clutch, there's their trails through the bulrushes. We'll go after them. They can't be too far ahead. There they go, Clutch. We 
can overtake those spinner. We've got less drag with these pontoons. Hey, Foxy, that bobtail flying machine is catching up with us. Step on it. I've got my foot in the carburetor now. This is as fast as you go. How about stopping him with this keg of gunpowder? While you're standing there, do it. Light the fuse and heave it overboard. No, no. Wait, not that. Quiet, Birdie, or I'll dump you over, too. Look, Clutch. He heaved something overboard. Dynamite. With no tail on the plane, Clutch just couldn't steer it. Is this the end? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Feather Puddle. You remember last time, Clutch and company survived being hit by the homemade cannon. Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot set out in what remained of their plane, still determined to find Professor Chickadee. They had almost caught up with Foxy and Gizzard, who had captured the professor, when Gizzard picked up a can of dynamite. Foxy tells him, light the fuse and heave it overboard. Dynamite! Ha 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 ha! That cook there, Goosey! They'll never catch us now! Ha 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 ha! Oh, dear mercy! What? What will ever become of them? They'll become raven bait, that's what. We still have our engine. The prop's not damaged. We're not licked yet. Come on, Spinner. I've got an idea. You mean you think we can make it fly again? Yep. Get out the tool kit. We'll catch those wild goose men yet. Hey, Foxy, what are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to get our life savings in feathers. like a helicopter, Spinner. Now, with a little more luck, we'll catch those crooks. Well, I'll be. Here comes that cargo again. I told you that guy would think of something. Head for the hideout. We've got to save our feathers. That's where I've been heading, stupid. They're headed for that big beaver dam. I bet that's their hideout. Step on it, Gizzy. We only have a few seconds to load our feather fortune. <sighs> These feathers are getting heavy. I'm going to set down right in the middle of them, Spinner. What's the feathers fly? International. <laughs> 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 
And so ends the story of Flood Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Feather Fuddle. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.